Well, there are growing calls to remove several Confederate monuments across Hampton Roads. While some cities have taken them down, others covered them up for now. And that includes ones in Newport News. 13 News Now reporter Nico Clemens found out if two peninsula cities are any closer to removing their monuments. The battle over Confederate monuments wages on. Why do we need to look at it every day? Newport News' Confederate monument still stands off of Old Courthouse Way, but TARP prevents anyone from seeing it or tearing it down. The mayor, police chief, and city manager made the decision for several reasons, including recent demonstrations that resulted in injuries. The monument is under a state easement agreement through the Department of Historic Resources. City leaders are petitioning the department to consider the city's request for the possible removal or relocation of the monument. Why have a constant reminder of what happened? Sean Grayson walks past the monument often. He's happy the city covered it up until leaders hear from the Department of Historic Resources. The less it's seen, the, the less problems it would cause. Of course, not everyone wants to see the monuments come down, but there is one group that would rather see this than damage and destruction. It's a false narrative that <laughs> these are evil races and monuments. Frank Ernest is the heritage coordinator for the Virginia Division Sons of the Confederate Veterans. While he doesn't want to see monuments come down, he commends cities for acting responsibly. So we can't vandalize it like they have all the other. About 20 miles away, police say someone spray painted the Confederate monument in Williamsburg. City Council is holding a public meeting on the status and future of the monument next month. Grayson believes cities can show and tell history another way. They could simply put a sign like you have several uh, printed signs that say what happened and gives you the historical documentary. For now, he'll wait and see what the future holds. In Newport News, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now. In Virginia Beach, another Confederate statue was also covered after vandalism over the weekend. It stands outside of the old Princess Anne Courthouse. The city manager says the reason it's covered and blocked by a fence is for public safety and property protection. On July 1st, the city will have the power to remove that statue. There will be a public hearing in July to discuss if that will happen.